And welcome back, welcome back. On March the 12th, the International Human Rights Arts Festival presents a celebration of black men, beauty, poetry, and restorative nature. Joining us with all the details, we have founding producer Tom Block. Tom, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You can buddy. take off your shoes if you want. Relax Settle your in. feet. All yeah, right. just melt down into this chair right there and, and tell us what you're all about. Well, the International Human Rights Art Festival is an ongoing series of events that uh, highlight through some little uh, respected values like uh, sincerity, vulnerability, and beauty. Um, the commonality mm -hmm. of all of us. So, and then we also engage with uh, social leaders and politicians. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to melt walls instead of kind of point out where they are. All right. And so we have these festivals. We had uh, the Bergen County uh, Music yes, right. Festival, the Film Festival, with Randy, and you have the Human Rights Arts Festival. I will note and that you, Randy's uh, over the weekend. You know Randy. Well, no, but I just saw his uh, piece, and yeah. he's over the weekend. We're Monday, so if people find themselves on Monday a little bit let oh, down, do come on down to the Davenport <laughs> Theater. <laughs> That's how you do it. Are you in the same area? I'm in the Davenport Theater in Midtown, Manhattan. Oh, okay, just come right, back, right, right, right across, across the bridge. The yeah, yeah. Tell us about your upcoming event. Tell us all about it. Well, Celebration of Black Men is really um, using very powerful artists in a wide uh, range of media to... I don't want to say show a different face of black men, but show the power. And in my opinion, there's kind of an overlooked uh, wisdom and understanding. And it's a, um, a social value that we're just a social cultural understanding yeah. that we don't. And I'm saying we, I'm a white man, obviously. Yeah. So that I'm learning and I'm trying to share that. And then also we're very much based in commonality. So we're having these artists come out and they're telling their stories. They're not going to... Yeah. They're not going to tell you what you need to do or say this side needs to change or say here I am. Why do you think that, that was overlooked? I, I think that the, first of all the values of sincerity and vulnerability in our culture are definitely overlooked. If you read the newspaper and see who's winning yeah. and who's rising to the top, I mean these are not values that we respect a lot. Yeah. Um, I also think there's a wisdom inherent in African American men. Um, my assistant producer told me not to say this, but I'm going to. African American. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, I'm she doing here? it. All no, right. she's not here. <laughs> Layla's not here. See, I gave um, you a second chance. Thank you. <laughs> um, African American men voted uh, fewer for Donald Trump than any other demographic. You know, why don't we yeah. listen to Why don't we listen to these people? So um, it's just providing a forum in, in an unusual and uh, hopefully very open way that we can come in, and I say we, I mean everybody, you know, we're about melting walls, so it's not black men for black people, it's black men for everybody. People yeah. like me, white men, you know, the whole world should come in and see the kind of beauty and power and wisdom that is inherent in these particular artists that we're yeah. gonna see, and it's a dancer, a writer, a choreographer, we have a white musician. Those are some of the artists that are gonna be at the festival. Yes, we have an African griot, we have uh, a writer who writes, um, very powerfully about his own experience as being a black man. That I'm, I told his name is George Watson, and mm -hmm. I said, I've learned more from you, George, important, just by your being honest, you yeah, know. Yeah. Because if, if you go into an event and somebody's an activist and How says... How important is that to learn from other cultures and, and know what's on the minds of other people instead of being closed in? I think that's the basis of activism. That's the basis of social yeah. change. Because if you come in and I say, you know, Bob, you need to do this and you got to change, you're going to be like... You know, I'm not going to have anybody tell me, but if I go in, like George, and say, Bob, here's who I am, and I'm being vulnerable and honest, and it's, you know, it's a beautiful theater piece, you might listen, hear. So, I mean, I believe, and our festival believes very strongly that these values can affect the kind of social change okay. that you know, loud activist work will not. Okay. When are we going to the festival? We're going on Monday, March 12th, after you finish with Randy. Uh, it's at the Davenport Theater in, um, on 45th Street between 9th and 10th Avenues, uh -huh. um, beautiful off-Broadway house. So we'll have five acts. We'll start with an African griot, and then we'll have theater and dance and um, other music and spoken word and some hip-hop. So we're going to do yeah. a wide variety of And things. when you walk out, you're going to feel what? You're going to feel like you were part of something where people were just had their arms around you. I mean, we're, we're going to leave this place. You're going to feel like, wow, big group hug, you know, yeah. through beauty. And through passion. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Big group hug. That's right. the way you're going to feel. 
He's going to bring his nutrients there. That's right. <laughs> For those of you who need to be nutrified, we're going to have some nutrients there. Thank you. Is there a website where we can go to? Yes. Uh, IHRAF.org. Oh. IRAF.org. There you go. I'm your new friend, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> Tom Block. It. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Tom Block, founding producer, International Human Rights Arts Festival.